Okay. So today we have a approximately 18 month old Syrian hamster or golden hamster with a suspected pyometra. We're going to do an abdominal explore and uh, hopefully spay this girl. to be efficient but not uh, reckless here. Let's see if you to pick up the linear here. Not sure whether we got all the way through or not. Right. Definitely got through the external fascia. Okay, now we're in. So I can see a little bit of retinal fluid. She's getting a little low. Oh, good. Now that we're getting more uh, invasive, she's just getting a little light. That's oh, fine. They, uh, Feel free to take a gander. This is not, not one we see every day. All right, let's see if she's more tolerant of me doing things. You know? Mm -hmm. 
we know for some species some peritoneal fluid is normal. I don't know whether that's the case for the hamster or not. associated with that thing, which I suspect is the bladder. Oh. I do think that's the bladder. Whether or not that's abnormal, I do not know. I can't imagine it is. Can Maybe like the yellow discharge that they're seeing is like a bladder infection or something? So it could be. Yeah. Do you want me to make us like a sample swab with that fluid? Yeah. We'll see if it's teeming with neutrophils and bacteria. Or if it's maybe just normal, because sometimes it is in those 
weird looking relatively early on here. Not necessarily. You usually just neutrophils.
definitely have seen cones made for them. I think, though, with a lot of these small companion mammals, if the pain is adequately controlled, they're unlikely to This one is less big. I think there was a cyst on that other ovary. surgery, but it's Don't see a bunch of bacteria and a lot of neutrophils. It doesn't look like pus. Yeah. Cool. Then you know, it could just be, you know, seen um, rabbit urine that looks just like that. So. Is it good? Good. Okay. Good. Did you want to go eat or did you want to wait? Oh, I'm okay. Are you kidding? Thank you. 
Yeah, we can give her a shot of Medicam. Medicam? What dose? Um, one make per cake. One make per cake. Um, would you be able to fill her Medicam to go home? One make per cake as well? Yeah, SID. can make them. Okay. There's that. Now, this big bizarre uterine body. I wonder if we should send it out for professional interest. It'd be cool. slow going because the tissue is so delicate and trying not to be overly aggressive and tear something and have it bleed a half a mil and be <laughs> catastrophic. take about 1%, so you could probably take about 1.7 mils in this girl uh, relatively safely. So that's about as much as I would want to lose in surgery, and we're certainly well below that. Would you have like um, some key fluid or anything? Yes. Yeah, you can dilute it. Okay. 
All right. Ooh. and it falls away. Would you 
Um, we have um, use, I'm gonna use a Fraser tip probably and, and border Q tips. And, issue and more concerned about neoplasia, mm -hmm. in which case I don't know that we could have gotten all of it, I guess we could go all the way to the vagina. Um, let's at least get some impressions of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get some of this stuff out of the way. Let's put that our closure. Are you use the same suture? I'll use the same suture. Four, I believe. Um, I usually just use a sharp pair of, uh, oh, actually use um, the Lagrange scissors, works well. And then, um, and then, yeah, the silver nitrate. Fingers are gonna be brown. Okay, we're close. And, uh, I always like whenever that happens, I'm always like trying to get like the marker off with my hands, and I was like, oh yeah. I right. <laughs> uh, assume the principles of closing the body wall are the same for. Are the same for hamsters as they are for um, bigger mammals. So we need to get the external rectus fascia. Too big of a needle for them. No, no, just those needle drivers. No good. Okay. For animals, small would a taper be? Yeah, I'm using a taper just to not cut the um, tissue too much. No, no, yep. Nope, that was, that was exactly my thoughts and using a taper for exactly that reason. Don't want to crash the tissue. I use 
a simple continuous on basically everything. Fewer knots means fewer weak points, and uh, it's faster. Absolutely acceptable. they take out. <laughs> what we have here is a nice large soft tissue sarcoma. In the shade. <laughs> so this one's kind of a taupe. scissors, they're back in the dental land. We've got several pairs of them. Okay. I can they're, uh, I'm sorry. No, I'm not trying to be like... <laughs> Continuous tissue there, so that's what we'll do. Absolutely. Squish it together. Squish together the skin. And then put the glue on. So we're trying to kind of 
kind of fold the skin edges in a wee bit. Yes. Do you need your petite nails? Uh, no, just those little LaGrange scissors, the little serrated oh, ones. Okay. What kind of scissors do you need? <laughs> she knows that I have a favorite needle driver, too. Mm -hmm. Way too much. Just confirm. Do these look correct? Yes, thank okay. you. No, they're for um, my next procedure. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, they run the Oh, okay, cool. Hey, you, uh, yeah, uh, that's what you just said. The 10 other pairs are in there. Probably all like that. Probably. <laughs> Which would be fine with me, I like. Um, that's what I bought them for specifically. They work great for putting ginger there. I'm sure I'm taking forever to close this, but... Perfection takes time. <laughs> Overly perfectionist. Are you okay with her breathing like that? I was starting to try to drop yeah. it down since we're. Yep, absolutely. Like surgeries are hard. Size here, but the last thing I want is for you to do well from surgery and then have a suture reaction and chew your belly open. I mean, a foreign body reaction to the glue. Hopefully, that holds it closed but doesn't cause too much discomfort. That should be really good. Well, Cool, I agree. Now let's make sure that she is not cool. Make her nice and warm. Yeah, yeah. pop her on top of a bear hugger pillow. And then once uh, she's lucid and moving around, we can just you know, put the warmie in her area and let her. She wanted. Yeah. <laughs> she has food in there. She didn't want to eat it, so I was worried about her getting hypoglycemic. But she, I mean, she didn't either. Thank you for watching, that was so flamed. interesting.